We are hopefully starting a new series, right, Zach? Okay, <laughs> news you should know, <laughs> all right, about 401k plans, or maybe all things ERISA. But today we're gonna to talk about a couple of things um, about 401k plans from the employer point of view. All right, what's number one? Your login's changing. Your login's changing for most employers, not for our clients. The way our clients do uh, sign the 5500s online, things are not changing. Uh, but if you're starting, uh, if you've just started a company and you're getting your credentials for the first time, you're going to be going through a slightly different portal. Yes, dear. Peanut Gallery has a question. Yes. So there is, in reading the article, there is a difference between deadlines on what different groups to be. And I do believe that software vendors that put this in there have till January 1st of this year. They're taking care of that. We, they're taking care of that. Our client, Hunter Benefits and our clients don't have to worry about this. Really the background on it is that they want your logins for the government stuff to all be one login, right? So, right. There's so, a universality to so this. What's so instead of having just separate eFAST credentials, your credentials for everything are the same. Correct. Will it look different at all for uh, our clients? No, for we our don't clients, actually know. No, no. For our clients, it won't look different. Okay. okay. For our clients that currently have credentials, no changes. All right. For people who are signing up for credentials for the first time, because it's the first time, yeah, it's going to look different because it's going to a different website. It's called login.gov. So what they've gone and done is for like PBGC, uh, if you've got a defined benefit plan and other things, there used to be multiple different places to log in. Now there's one place to log in called login.gov. Okay, seems kind of straightforward. And you know, September 1st is a change for some people. And boy, that is coming up fast. Right. So if you don't have, if you're not one of our clients, you yeah, might need to go to login.gov and uh, see what's going on with your credentials, okay? Because I know the software vendor we use, our clients don't have to worry about it. But if if your TPA isn't using the same software vendor at us, I don't know, send us an email at sales at hunterbenefits.com. We'll see if we can lend you a hand. The action step is sign your 5500 in August, not September 1st. <laughs> exactly. That is the action step. <laughs> That'll September 1st, you, it's going to be interesting. It's gonna, it's Okay, and what article examples, did you read? The one from ASPA. That yes. was in the Teams message. Yes. But I opened it up yeah. and it was from August. Yeah. And it said that actually there was a Schwab report oh. that talked about that they interviewed 2,100 participants who were in retirement plans of 401k plans of over 24 per, or 25 participants. And actually 58% of them actually knew about um, secure 2.0 That's and new things about it and we're excited about some things so, so yes I read okay. it so but why are we talking about this newspaper th this this article at the first place because um, if you actually want good employees it's just like they know you need a plan right but they, they just I'm walking through our little grocery store and they go hi we're hiring hi we're hiring and it's like hey we have a Roth plan with a match. And I'm like, if my little grocery store can talk about so the 401k a, plan? a 401k plan with a match to get people to work at right. the grocery store, the, hey, employer, I think you need to do at least the that. The car repair place on the way to the post office has, has had a sign up for years. Uh, 401k plan, it doesn't say simple. It doesn't say Illinois Secure Choice. It doesn't say set by RA. It doesn't say buy lottery tickets, okay? It says we have a 401k plan and the statistics are starting to prove our comments out is it's a must have for new job seekers. They want employers that are offering 401k plans for them. And they actually understand that given an offer that's identical, if one has a 401k plan and one doesn't, that's a better offer. Exactly. Better so, benefits. All right. So great little, great little, great little article news. to um, confirm that. Absolutely. Take care.